1845, Ada Van Vechten established the City Federation of Ladies Literacy Club with the goal of establishing a library. She achieved this goal on January 15, 1897, when the Cedar Rapids Free Public Library opened its doors to the public for the first time. Appropriately, the first book added to the new library's collection was Eugene Field's The Love Affairs of a Bibliomaniac. By 1900, the library already moved to a larger space in the Dow's building. Anticipating continued growth, the library board wrote to famed philanthropist Andrew Carnegie, who sent Cedar Rapids $75,000 in 1903 to build a new library at Washington Square, now known as Green Square. The new building opened on June 24, 1905, five months before Ada Van Vechten passed away. In 1904, the library established special programs for the blind and farmers in the area were given resident privileges. Books were acquired in different languages, including a Bohemian collection for the town's Czech and Slovak population. In the 1910s and 20s, the library continued to expand outreach, creating library stations in neighborhood grocery stores, parks, hospitals, and workplaces. By 1918, the library was operating 22 stations. In 1901, a smallpox outbreak led to a three-month pause of books and children being barred from the library. Then, in 1914, an early winter diphtheria outbreak led librarians to call in hundreds of books, and many books were destroyed for fear of contagion. Precautions were also taken during the Spanish flu pandemic of 1918. The Cedar Rapids Evening Gazette reported, Children are requested not to remain at the public library and read until the influenza epidemic is over. They may still draw books, but it is thought best not to keep the children's reading room open. The library stations at Kenwood Park, Daniels Park, 16th, and at the Grant Vocational School will be closed until further notice. Kenwood Park, a village between Cedar Rapids and Marion, contracted library services in a village church in 1912. In the 1920s, the village moved to the library station to a building that housed the streetcar waiting room, the village jail, and the councilman's meeting room. In 1926, Cedar Rapids incorporated Kenwood, and in 1930, a Kenwood Park Library branch was built at the site of the previous station. The Kenwood branch was remodeled in 1955, expanded in 1963, and by 1992, the building was in need of remodeling to comply with the Americans with Disabilities Act. There was no money in the budget for this. Instead, an east side branch opened at Town and Country Shopping Center. During World War I, the library provided books to an encampment of service members from Cedar Rapids training at Camp Dodge in Des Moines, but saw circulation for the civilian population decline overall as residents joined the war effort. During World War II, the reference services of the library became especially personal. Families of enlisted men would bring in the letters from their loved ones, hoping the librarians could help them decipher clues to where their sons and husbands were stationed. Additionally, in 1942, the Victory Book Campaign began donating thousands of books to armed forces out of Cedar Rapids, and children could join the Army-Navy Reading Club and the Paratroopers Club. The 1950s saw continued growth in the city, and in 1952, the library's first bookmobile arrived, with six stops scheduled each week. The same year, an addition was made to the main library to add new space and move the children's department back to the first floor. A second addition phase followed in 1953, and the library purchased a second bookmobile in 1954. In 1964, the library purchased a third bookmobile, expanding mobile service to Saturdays, with stops throughout the week in 19 neighborhoods. The first two bookmobiles were retired in 1971 and 1972 as the Edgewood branch opened in 1971. Despite the obvious need for more space in this growing city, between 1969 and 1981, 
Bond issues to add an extension to the library and open a west side branch failed to pass by a supermajority of 60% five different times. In 1971, the Friends of the Cedar Rapids Public Library was founded, and in 1972, the Metropolitan Cedar Rapids Library Foundation was created. Both would be instrumental in the effort to promote and support library services, as well as to fund the building of a new library. In 1981, after a final bond issue failed, a pledge from the Hall Foundation allowed a new 83,100 square foot building to be built, which opened on February 17, 1985 at 500 First Street Southeast. A new library branch also opened in 1988 and expanded in 2000 at Westdale Mall, replacing the Edgewood branch. In 1999, the Cedar Rapids, Marion, and Hiawatha libraries joined resources to create the Metro Library Network, sharing collection items between the three library systems. On June 12th and 13th, 2008, the Cedar River rose, inundating 10 square miles of the city. Water rose five feet into the first floor of the downtown library, destroying the entire adult collection. The building would be a loss. The Westdale Library was a lifeline for the librarian community while funds were raised and plans were made for a new downtown library and Westside expansion as well. On February 23, 2013, Ladd Library opened to replace the Westdale location. Named for Rockwell Collins test technician Marilyn Ladd, who left the library almost $750,000 when she died. Shortly following that, the new downtown library opened on August 24, 2013. In very recent history, the COVID-19 pandemic led to instances of being closed to the public, providing limited or accommodated services and virtual and passive library programs. This was followed ominously by the derecho that swept through Cedar Rapids on August 10th, 2020, which caused water and roof damage at the Ladd Library. Looking to the future, in 2021, we added the Mobile Technology Lab to our outreach services, furthering technological literacy and workforce development in our community. Whatever the future brings, for Cedar Rapids and for the library, the focus will remain the same as it has since the day we opened. To connect people to information, experiences, and services that enhance their quality of life so that our community can learn, enjoy, and thrive.